Okay, this is part three, but there's also a type of part four at the end of this. This is just a short interlude, and uh, at the end I'd like you to go and look at another film about the work of Tassita Dean. Um, and what I want to look at to begin with is uh, one work by Tassita Dean, and um, that's the work of Majesty, made in 2006. I go on photo photographs mounted on paper and it's a large you know four four meter three by four meters and uh, seen in the Tate London Majesty is one of a group of works based on photographs of ancient trees in the southeast of England it was made from a black and white photograph that Dean took of one of the largest and oldest complete oak trees in England it's been massively enlarged and printed on four overlapping sections of fibre-based paper. All the area surrounding the tree's leafless branches and trunk has been overpainted with white grouch, isolating the structure and form. The title is derived from the name of the tree, which is also known as the Fredville Oak, after the estate in Nonington, Kent, where it has been growing for centuries with two smaller giant oaks known as Beauty and Stately. Dean's mythology is a combination of idea-driven research with an openness to chance, accidents, coincidence and poetic associations which she allows to direct her processes. In 2005, Dean created a series of deformed trees, painting over the background and sometimes also the foreground of old black and white postcards depicting trees. The postcards came from a collection she had been acquiring from flea markets all over the world since the mid-1990s. The application of white onto a darker ground has its origins in Dean's work with a series of drawings on blackboards that she did while she was a student at the Slade School of Fine Art in London. Discussing Dean's work, the critic Margaret Ifson has stated that in response to digitalisation, Dean has found a way to make the character of the medium salient. She makes the material tactile nature of the medium palpable. In focusing on a misshapen tree, we focus on the damaged texture of the world. This texture is perceived to be compromised by digital enhancement. We smooth out wrinkles and adjust blemishes. The 14 year old, 1400 years also represents an exposure. This exposure is evident in the gnarls and rents in the bark of the tree. These are marks of weather and age, the indices of time. So when is the moment to capture the life of a 14 year old tree? There's no instantaneous in that lifespan. No isolation to a single point of time that makes any real sense. In capturing the tree, Dean also kills it, if we think of Bart's terms. She stops its time, and this adds pathos. Dean has described analogue as everything that she holds dear. She sees analogue as a continuum against the continual breakdown into smaller subsections that is digitisation. So analogue, continual, and digital, continual breakdown. Images in the digital are constantly broken down and rebuilt in Dean's digital version of events. She doesn't believe that the digital can create poetry. She thinks it doesn't breathe or wobble and leaves no trace. Dean sees analog photography as the imprint of light on emulsion, the alchemy of circumstance and chemistry. So this is a very poetic version of analog and leaving no poetry in the digital. For me, it seems to be a very narrow-minded version of events that also produces very beautiful images. Now, what I'd like you to do is, if we can't link this onto our YouTube film site, can you go back to the Learning at Griffith site, to the Websites of Interest folder in Course Content, 
I've linked in a film by Tate to, um, um, it's, it goes for about 10 or 12 minutes and it's about Desiderdan's work in the Turbine Hall in 2018. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in the tutorials uh, later today and, um, and best of luck with all your tasks. Thanks.